We unpack. We unpack. We unpack. Coming to your live box and ego unpack. Yeah. We unpack. We unpack. We unpack. Hey, Eddie, man, try to Eddie Hearns. Eddie Hearns does the first ever fighterless press conference for Joshua Ruiz announcement. What up, Fight World? It's your boy, Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. If you want to become part of the gang, gang, notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chat channel donations, the Venmo donations, and the Patreon family. I'm so frustrated. We got to talk about this, man. Eddie Hearn announced last week that he was going to have some kind of press conference for Joshua Ruiz. So most people, including myself, felt it would be a press conference with both fighters present, you know, like they typically do. Then after this announcement, we noticed that Andy Ruiz Jr. hasn't even confirmed the fight from his side. Nobody from PBC, like PBC's social media page, is posting about the fight. Nobody's talking about it, encouraging it. Nobody's, you know, retweeting the flyer. So we're like, hmm, you know, that's weird. Why is Andy Ruiz? Then come to find out, Andy Ruiz is not content with um, the slave room slave contract that was agreed upon prior. So he's demanding more money or to renegotiate it and trying to, based on how he beat Joshua, how he blew up overnight and the different parameters. I think he's looking to secure more money. I don't know if he even is opposed to fighting in Saudi Arabia particularly, but you know, he, he just doesn't feel as just in the contract he signed with all things considered, look, you know, looking at it. So I think they're exploring their options. So I was wondering how this was going to work. Were they going to cancel this press conference? Nope. Eddie Hearn decides to have the press conference and there's no Joshua and Andy Ruiz is Andy Ruiz is not there either. So no Joshua, no Andy Ruiz, man, this looks horrible. You know, new media, we unpack coming to you live. <laughs> this looks terrible. The zone rematch room. This looks terrible. They have, you know, between Canelo unhappy with his promotional outfit and you know he can't get a fight he's waiting for kovalev he's the, getting stripped and the franchise champion that looks bad the schedule is out of whack then you have matchroom who is promoting and advocating a fight and it's one-sided joshua reposted he's like neutral grounds he put on his social media the day matchroom eddie hearn talking about it but andy ruiz you don't hear a peep from him Boxing News 24, link in the description. There's some pull quotes from the press conference that contain no fighter. I've never seen this before. I've never seen a press conference that they do where none of the fighters come. Like, I can understand one fighter got caught up in traffic or he missed his flight or some shit like that. But why don't you have Joshua there? It's in London, this press conference. They just had Eddie Hearn sitting on a table with some bald dude. You know, I guess he's one of the organizers from Saudi Arabia. You know, nobody even knows who he is because Saudi Arabia is not uh, a boxing destination location where we've seen a bunch of major fights happen in an established relationship. And what are you confirming? Like, this is just a waste of time. You could have, you know, you could have did a periscope or just put this on your social media. What What is the point of having this press conference we don't we want to hear from the fighters. We want to see what Andy Ruiz, Mr. Snickers. I want to watch Andy Ruiz eat a snicker on stage. I don't want to see two guys, you know, promotionally who are putting this on go back and forth and tell us what we already allegedly knew. You know, I want to see Anthony Joshua. They say he's losing weight. So I want to see what type of shape he's looking like. You know how they compare side by side because they both had an off season. You know, this is just horrible. Um, Eddie Hearn, this is what he had to say. This stadium will be purpose built for around 15,000 fans. We want the UK fans to be there. Once again, they keep saying, man, I'm about to go. In. I'm about to go in. I might do it live. They keep saying neutral grounds, but there it is, folks. 
It says this stadium will be purpose built for around 15,000 fans. We want UK fans to be there. Organizations bigger than us have taken events to Saudi Arabia. If Saudi are willing to invest in the sport of boxing for the right reasons, I'm in. The whole world will be watching. For Joshua, once you take away the curiosity, you get down to the fight and AJ trying to regain his world titles, it'll be madness. This will go down to history. This is all AJ is working towards, making sure he's victorious. It also says, every promoter in boxing has been in talks with Saudi Arabia, Dubai, etc. Mayweather Pacquiao considered it. This is the first time it will actually happen. I couldn't believe how the world, how good the World Boxing Super Series final was there. Financially, it was viable. Formula One, the European Gulf, the Italian, the Italy Cup or whatever. Um, the Italia Cup, the biggest horse race. Man, come on, bro. This man got me reading all these darts and shit that, that happened there. It all happens here. Ruiz had a moan about the UK. He said, "There." He said, we said, here's your uh, neutral venue. I've kept you waiting. And obviously, we had this approach. Both fighters had agreed and signed for the rematch. Man, this is what Andy Ruiz posts. This is just a bad. This is, looks messy, bro. He's he not even. Andy Ruiz is chilling. He out in L.A., bro. He out in San Diego. I love L.A. This is. This looks just tr looks trash. This promotion, it looks trash. They got to get it together. That's just what it is. You know, straight shooter, steak and potatoes for life. This promotion is trash so far because you, you have one side promoting it and saying, hey, a contract's a contract. And Andy Ruiz ain't stupid. His team ain't stupid. They looking for ways to get out of it. I would, too. You know, you're going to try to you're going to get 50 million plus from the Saudis and the zone money and sky sports money and merchandise and i don't know if they have concession and foods i don't know what the you know the culture and the customs are in terms of that type of stuff because you know it's, it's uh saudi arabia you know they're not gonna have hot dogs or something like certain animals that are um you know it's against the religion the islamic religion to eat so i don't know about stuff like that but either way you you know t-shirts and all types of shit Andy Ruiz, you, you want him to sit because he agreed before he even beat Joshua. He agreed to take the rematch and the rematch clause was built in with you tried to establish his part. That's some bullshit already. You know, how you going without furthering, like without seeing how it plays out, you want to establish his purse beforehand. So no matter how big he blows up, he could have knocked Joshua out in the first round. You have him locked into this bullshit, you know, and truth be told. Fighters, they're looking. They're like, man, I got five weeks. It's an opportunity at world titles. I ready. I could beat this this guy. He's the robot. You know, he's gonna just take the opportunity. And you know, this goes to this this goes to show you a lot of a lot of bullshit. You know, Anthony Joshua man fans and Eddie Hearn man fans. Shout out to Kennedy Linder, but he 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 um posted this point, and it was so it was so new media. I have to recycle it. And I had to talk about it, you know, but shout out to Ego's Army. Kenny Linder, he made it. He said, what about all the fans that said, oh, Deontay Wilder, just take the flat fee, the 12.5 million, and then you'll be you'll get beat him and you'll be worth more in the rematch. That point is now destroyed. So let me recap. There were people that said Deontay Wilder. Yeah, just take 12.5 million, which we know is a low ball. For Deontay Wilder last year, they said just take it. Then, if you're so confident, beat Joshua, whoop his ass, and in the rematch, then you get to call the shots. But that's not the case because Andy Ruiz slept Joshua, dropped him four times, and they're trying to hold him to some bullshit. So all those fans that said that old media, once again, looks stupid as fuck. You know? Oh yeah, that's what I told you. I told you. In boxing, nothing is promised. Nothing is promised, so you got to get in and get out. You got to get in and get what you're worth the first time because there's no guarantee it's going to be a second time. Orlando Salido, he beat Lomachenko. For sure, you know, a guy with that amateur pedigree and a guy in the amateurs, his only loss in the amateurs, he avenged it and he beat the guy twice. But for whatever reason, because they don't, they didn't want to rush Lomachenko anymore, and he already had one loss. They avoided Salido, so you know, you got to get everything in the first fight. 
because there's no guarantee there's gonna be a second one. So I don't I don't blame Andy Ruiz one bit. We unpack. I don't blame. I get everything you can. I would, man, I'll try to I'll try to take the game. And then now about this Saudi Arabia. Oh, here's your neutral location. Now we're coming to see, and I speculated this, but now I'm seeing it more and more. This is some bullshit. This ain't Saudi Arabia is no is no neutral location like they're trying to um make it out to be because you heard what eddie hearn just said he just told on himself he said the stadium will be purpose built for 15,000 fans we want uk fans to be there he's telling you right there plus joshua has ties to the uae in that region because he's always over there he's always in dubai i've seen it. he's on uh, you know yachts and shit in dubai with 50 men you know 50 shades of men and shit so we've seen joshua vacation over there party over there chill out hang out in his off season so i wouldn't be surprised if he knows people out there and, and different stuff or some of his friends that he you know because he, he'd be with 50 dudes and shit in his entourage if if some of his friends are uh muslim or have ties to saudi arabia or origins to saudi arabia so it's not neutral as as they're trying to make it out to be so get your money andy ruiz fuck that and the other thing is here, just a little put in perspective. Eddie Hearn said he wants the UK fans to be here. New media, we're going to do the work. The total flight duration from London, United Kingdom to Saudi Arabia is six hours and 29 minutes. To me, I'm from Cali. This is how long I'd be on the plane to go to New York. So this is Cali to New York flight, you know, about the flight time that it takes me to get to, to New York. I go to New York all the time for um, fights, Barclays and Madison Square Garden and Nassau Coliseum and shit. So that's a six hour flight from the UK. Now, Joshua fans can go and be there, you know, in a Cali to New York level flight, you know, the the time of travel, travel time. But let's say you, you're from California and you want to go out there to support. You're from Imperial and you want to go support Andy Ruiz. 16 hour flights so this ain't no neutral fucking ground bro they trying to make you feel that that's it, it take if you if you live in california and you want to you want to support andy ruiz it's going to take you an additional 10 hours to get there this is like damn near a flight to uh, japan or the philippines i think the philippines 18 19 hours that's damn near the same thing bro 16 hours and 43 minutes that's a 17 hour flight this ain't no neutral ground Let's see if you come from Mexico, because Andy Ruiz got some fans out there in Mexico for what he did, man. He said history. Andy Ruiz said history. Let's see. Flight time from the, this is Ryda to Mexico City is 25 hours and five minutes. It's going to take you over a day to get there. So this ain't no neutral ground. Oh, my God. New media. We just expose the facts. We unpack coming to you live. So, yeah, I don't think this is neutral grounds like they're trying to make it out because clearly Anthony Joshua fans, the man fans from Anthony Joshua. Who, who that? Oh, whoops. Um, the man fans from y'all got me fucked up. Um, the man fans from Anthony Joshua clearly have an easier time to get there. If you're from California, you're from Mexico, you know, where Andy Ruiz has origins and, and heritage then it's going to take you 16 to 26 hours 25 hours to get to get to saudi arabia you know i reject your deposit new media we just we, we lay everything flat you guys let me know in the comment section what you think but this was embarrassing to see a fighterless press conference for joshua ruiz and i think they should do what's right i get contracts but contracts aren't there's loopholes around contracts and stuff. Somebody there's there's people they know that have murdered somebody. And then because of how the 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 evidence was admitted in court, it becomes like um, non admissible in court. And basically people murderers and, you know, this person did it, have gotten out on technicalities, you know, where they beat the case on a technicality. You get what I'm saying? So it ain't over. Andy Ruiz, he has a smart team. They might be able to renegotiate or or get out of it totally, to be honest. You know, we've seen it. I just seen the thing. Antonio Brown, A.B., um, he said he he might retire over his helmet, not being able to wear a certain helmet or some shit. So 
you know, Eddie Hearn, he's he doing press conferences thinking, oh, we got a signature. We got Andy Ruiz's signature. It ain't over. You know, there's ways around it, especially when you put it in a in an area like Saudi Arabia with a, um, not a travel ban, but a travel advisory, a level two travel advisory. He might be able to get out on some something like that. Like, hey, I don't you know, I don't I don't feel safe or, you know, you can we'll see. We'll see how it plays out. But what Eddie Hearn should fear is one, this looks bad promotionally. You know, you can't announce it. The zone can't announce it. You can't promote it. You can't make shoulder programming. This is just messy. Two, you don't want to pay him. He could lose a belt in the interim and get stripped of a belt. Bro, that's what I would do. If I'm Andy Ruiz, I'll let them strip some of these belts off of me. I would, I would draw. If you don't want to give me more money, okay, we're going to play hardball. And then I would, I would stall this out until I get stripped. Now, Joshua... Even if we, by the time we do fight, you're not fighting for all your belts, and you're gonna have to, you're not gonna be a champion, a three, four belt holding champion. You gonna, we, we gonna, I'll let them strip me of everything but one belt. We will be fighting for a Gucci belt. You keep playing around. You don't want to pay me, okay? You want to give me a raw deal and then just hold me to it, okay? Cool. I will let them strip me. That's really gonna fuck Joshua up because then if he, even if he beats Ruiz, if he beats Ruiz, then he's not gonna have everything he. He entered the first fight with because the IBF stripped him. The IBF was strict, you know. I'll let these companies, the WBO, some of them strip me because people will understand it. People understand why what's going on. People, and Eddie Hearn doesn't realize this. He's not bigger than America. The, you know, the UK is not bigger than America. So the UK is not bigger than Mexico. So Andy Ruiz got people riding for him. You know, they're going to understand if you don't pay him and it's already out. You, you could say, oh, I'm holding him to a contract, but the people are already talking about it. Oh, that's faulty. Damn, you don't want to pay the man? Oh, you want to give him $9 million and y'all bank all this money on the back? So people already see that. Man, I can't wait for this whole thing to be over. I can't wait. I hope Andy Ruiz, I hope they get it done, you know, pay the man. And I hope Andy Ruiz go out there and destroy Rec Shop just so we could be done with this negotiating um, politics and A-side did like it's all you're not gonna get rid of the a-side thing completely but i think eddie hearns and anthony joshua have taken this to new heights and it's just a nuisance i just want to see boxing we just want to see boxing you know you're putting it you're already putting in an area that's harder for some people to travel to you get what i'm saying you're not doing what's greater for the the greater good of boxing or the the whole of boxing you're doing what's better for your pocketbooks first you know I'll be happy, man, but I, I'll let this whole thing self-destruct. I will linger. You're a lingerer. I will let all these belts dissipate and get stripped of these belts. You know, Ty Tyson Fury got stripped of the belts, and they acting like he's, um, you know, this this national treasure, you know, Clint Eastwood or something. And he did. He was doing dope and smack and all types of shit, right? So he got stripped of belts and people understood. He had a relinquished belt. People understood. So I think people, Andy Ruiz has a newfound fan base. So I would just play the game. That's bottom line what it is. I would play the game if that's what, if Andy Ruiz, um, he knows he got a, he got tied up into a raw deal. Yes, a, a signature is a signature, but you, you don't know all the, at the time he signed this contract saying 9 million. He, he might have felt he could beat Joshua, but he didn't know he going to drop him four times and then knock him out and stuff. That all played out. He didn't know the Saudi Arabia's uh, Saudi Arabian tycoons would offer 50 million dollars. So, you know, you're trying to hold him to some bullshit. Clearly, he wasn't privy to this knowledge uh, of knowing how much the pot was worth. And then he signed it to him. And now it's clearly not fair. And you just, oh, we got your signature. So we'll see how it all plays out. Let me know what you guys think. We unpack coming to you live. Smash the like button if you're new. Consider subscribing. Make sure you smash the like button as always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is ego. Sign and all. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing. <music>